Hello all, welcome to part six of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use priority attribute in TestNG. So let's get started. So how to use priority attribute which belongs to TestNG. By default, all the tests that is all the test methods. Test means test methods which are provided with at the rate test annotation. Such kind of test methods inside a class, if there are multiple tests inside the class, they will be executed in alphabetical order, guys. Okay. Uh, internally, you can call it as ASCII order. Okay. They look like alphabetical, but ASCII, there is something known as ASCII table. If you Google search here, ASCII table. Okay. So according to this ASCII table order, Okay, you see if, if I go with some A, A is having a 65. If I go with Z, Z is having 90. Which one is lower? A. So this, this test method, which is having A in its name, will be executed first because it is having the lower lowest number. Okay. So this, uh, this is the ASCII table. It follows the ASCII table, guys. Okay. So the order of the execution of the multiple test methods inside a class will be executed in alphabetical order, which is indirectly internally ASCII order guys, okay? Which, whichever ASCII number is small for that particular alphabet accordingly, uh, it will be executed, okay? I'll show you practically now, okay? This statement I'll show you practically. For that, uh, I'll open this Eclipse ID where we have the sample project, which is already configured with Java and Selenium guys, okay? Java library is there, uh, sorry. Java library is there, TestNG library is also there. It's just uh, here, if you go here, there is a TestNG library guys, okay? There is a TestNG library. So Java is there, TestNG is there, okay? Now Let's create a class under SRC test Java. Let's create a class case. So I'll just name that as a demo test or something. Okay, some class name. And in this, let's create some methods. Public void sample one. Okay, sample one method. Here inside the sample one, I'll write system dot out dot print I'll say sample one method. Okay, test method. This is a test method. Uh, till now, it's not a test method, guys, but I am writing test method here. I have to convert this method into a test method, test ng test method. As you already know, you have to provide at the rate test annotation, one of the annotations in test ng. I'll explain other annotations of test ng in the coming sessions of this series, okay? At the rate test. Similarly, let's create more methods public wide sample to, okay? So public wide sample to system.out.println sample to test method, okay? And here again, you have to provide at the rate test annotation. Here you see this particular single class is having multiple tests. Single class is having multiple tests. Public void sample three. System dot out dot print ln. System dot out dot print ln. Sample three test method. Okay, sample three test method. Let me write at the rate test. Public wide sample four. Okay, next one is sample four. Provide at the rate test sample four annotation. Okay, at the rate test annotation for sample four method. Sample four test method. One more method, final method. Okay, public wide sample five. At the rate test annotation and uh, provide system dot out dot print ln. Sample five test method. Okay, like this, I have written multiple test methods inside a single class. If I run this file, if I run this file using run all or right click and run whatever it is, you see this methods will not be executed in the provided order. Sample one, one will not be executed first. Sample two will not be executed second. Okay, it will not be like the order in which you have given the test methods. Okay, just see here, it will be very fast because I just took some dummy methods only, right? Just some simple print statements. You see. This proves that in which order the test got executed. You see, first Selenium 5, sorry, sample 5 got executed. Okay. Sample 5 method got executed. Sample, 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 sample is same, but F, okay, F, I is coming before F, O. Then A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So out of all these things, F is coming first. Both have F. So they'll check the next, uh, next thing. ASCII number of this I and O. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay, I is coming first, right? O is coming later. So five, four. Then G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, O, O. It stopped with O. 
okay so one got executed then three and two okay h is coming first then w right so this alphabet it looks like alphabetical order but inter internally it is using ascii ascii order okay this is order in which the test methods got executed guys but is there any way in test engine where we can uh, have our, our own order or specify our own order yes there is an attribute in test engine known as priority attribute guys okay this is the main topic is priority only right you can provide this priority attribute guys okay beside the test method okay what you have to do simply do is just provide the circular brackets beside the test method and here provide the attribute of test ng that is priority attribute is equal to one that means this particular test method need to be executed first okay don't go with the default alphabetical or ascii order go with the specified priority if i want this order of the execution of this test methods to change i have to give the priority okay that's what is the intention then priority is equal to three then priority is equal to four then priority is equal to five okay and so on okay so now if i run this they will be executed in this provided priority order only okay run all just see here this time sample one sample two will come you see sample one test method got executed first then sample two then sample three sample four sample five because why because because we provided the priority this is how in real time we provide the priorities to the test methods and uh, whatever the test method that we want to be executed first we will provide a better priority what are the test methods which need to be executed later we need to provide the later priority okay that's what is the intention but let's uh, let's speak a more uh, about this priority attribute okay so uh, this much is enough guys to understand the priority attribute this much is enough but uh, in interviews they may ask you some tricky questions of priority attribute that is the reason i am covering these things what if the priority is zero if you don't give any priority for example here uh, for the second test method okay the priority is called one is there but for sample two i am not giving the priority what will be the priority by default for this test method priority if you don't specify the priority then priority will be by default zero remaining all test methods have the priority as one three four five but this particular test method second test method here doesn't have the priority so it will priority will be taken as zero guys zero comes first or one comes first zero comes first so sample two method will be executed first than sample one okay so this is a some kind of tricky interview question that may be asked what if i don't provide the priority and for remaining uh, test methods i provide one three four five then in which execution order this test methods will be executed means you have to tell that the the method which is not provided with any priority will be taken as zero priority so this one will be executed first then priority one then priority three then priority four and priority five will be executed so sample sample two then sample one sample three sample four sample five okay let's see that it won't take much time you see as i mentioned first sample two then sample one the sample two is having the zero priority which is coming before the priority one priority two priority three priority four priority five okay done so that is one interview question that you may face in the interviews okay so if you mention the priority for all the test methods and don't provide priority for one of the test methods the method which doesn't have the priority will be set to zero priority test will be uh, zero priority test will be executed first even before the priority one test method okay that's what you have to understand second thing can we provide negative priorities can i provide a negative number in these are all in extra additional stuff guys okay it's up to you if you don't want to follow you just uh, leave it okay you may face this kind of tricky questions in the interview so i'm covering okay negative values like minus one or something if i give then is it possible first of all yes it is possible guys okay yes it is possible so what i will do is uh, for one of these i'll give minus one okay i'll give minus one here now there is priority one priority four priority or i'll change it to priority two and three otherwise it will be easy for us to understand priority one is there two is there three is there the one which doesn't have the priority is zero priority that comes before the one but here we have priority is called minus one which is accepted okay minus one comes before zero or not yes right so first sample three test method will be executed because it has the least priority then zero priority then one two three that will be the order so three two one four five should be the result okay that should be the order three two one three two one four five okay as expected now so more or less the value the first the test method will be executed if you give negative values minus five minus six like that and so on the more the less the value the first the test method will be executed guys and uh, next thing is sample priority to multiple methods okay next thing is sample priority to 
multiple methods what is the sample priority uh, sorry same priority to multiple methods okay so what if i give the same priority to all the methods okay all the test methods uh, so priority is equal to one priority is equal to one priority is equal to one is it possible to give duplicate priorities first of all is it possible yes it is possible you see no errors are coming right that even proves that uh, that itself proves that uh, the test methods can have the same priority but in which order this uh, methods will be executed by default what was the order alphabetical or ask order right if every test method has the same priority then automatically okay it will go with the default order that is what is the default order alphabetical or ask order okay so first sample 5 then sample 4 okay then sample 1 then sample uh, 3 and 2 uh, 3 and 2 that's it right okay alphabetical order or ask order whatever you can say okay so if every test method has the same priority then in that alphabetical or same thing okay it's it's nothing but not providing the priority itself right what is the use of providing the priority here because every every test method has the same priority means it is equal to not providing the priority at all for all the test methods in the class so this is all about the this this is the additional section okay and uh, this one is very much important okay so priority you just need to understand about the priority output at a high level guys but uh, just to have some extra knowledge these are covered as part of the entry questions in this session okay so hope guys you understood how to use priority attribute in test ng so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to cover another test ng concept for you till then see you bye bye